Christos, conscious diamond beings of eternal light, shining brightly into the night. We are in a continued blackout mode of the Schumann charts for over 55 hours now. This is connected to what we are calling the Great Clearing, just prior to the Great Awakening that we call a quantum leap in consciousness from Homo sapien to Homo luminous or Homo galacticus as we realize and make real our cosmic consciousness of eternal life as we shift into a new bandwidth of our higher dimensional frequencies of the new human, rise up and awaken into our lucid dreaming while awake state of pure awareness of the great mystery. We are activated in the freedom codes of this now. Spread your wings, angels of the new earth, and fly high to the holiest temple at the silvery, pearly gates of heaven on earth. The gate is fully open and in full activation mode. We step through the threshold of the new Lemuria. Royal Lions of Lyra, we came on this ascension mission and we cannot fail. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart. A whole. And with these intense energies and powerful activations, we're receiving many activations in the crown chakra today as I walked in the rain through the park, Panpachamama. It felt as if I was struck by lightning in the crown as it shot down through my brain into the crystal palace and out my left eye. I felt as if I was in between worlds and I could see the starships above. These are activations. Some come from the sky beings, the thunder beings, as we are being electrified and upgraded with these intense fiery energies. This is the fire of the yang, the electricity Today we also filmed and added to our Patreon page a teaching on acupuncture, the art of needling in Chinese medicine. So you can join us at whitegoldeagle.com or any donations over the next week we will send you a link to this training. For our meridians are being activated with the dragon lines, the dragon lines in the heavens above and the earth below, and human in the middle, this is middle Dantian, the sacred water path, the holy waters of the divine feminine, Marie, Maria, Magdalene, energies flowing in. And over the last 24 hours, we had 137 M1.5 or greater earthquake activations, 137 into the 731. This is the mirror of each other, the one in the many, the many in the one, the 37 into the 73, heaven on earth, most powerful today in the sacred portal, 5.5, 5.5 in Somalia and our sacred lands of Africa. This is by the Gulf of Aden, across the Gulf from Yemen and not too far from our sacred lands of Ethiopia. This is where the eyes of Merlin came from, these holy lands. And those that met Merlin is my dragon keeper, my friend, and healing staff, which I'll present to you in the next several days. His eyes are made of the black opal from Ethiopia, our sacred lands in Africa, home of our Sunasi elders, our sacred bro stars and sisters of the light, keepers of the sacred flame and the ark of the covenant the holy kingdom the sacred temple again today the ring of fire totally lit up totally activated earlier today in mexico oaxaca 4.173 kilometers depth 573 puerto rico 3.1 cab california United States 4.0, Okinawa, Japan 4.4, Divine 44 coming in, South Sandwich Islands 5.0, and the sacred portal Afghanistan, where the three holy mountains merge together, the trident, the trinity, Tian Shan, celestial mountains, Kunlun in the middle, the divine feminine, Himalayan, Lord Antien, 
masculine kundalini they come together in the sacred portal 4.37 of mastery peru south america 4.9 13 divine goddess 132 kilometers depth 1313 the fourth sacred portal to my sacred condor gulf of alaska 3.1 chagos acapalejo with a 5.1 south of fiji island 4.3 right on the Tropic of Capricorn, very deep, 551 kilometers depth, Thessaly, Greece, 4.4, Somalia, 4.5, Baja California, Mexico, 3.5, Nicaragua, Central America, we had two powerful activations, home of our Mayan elders, 4.7 and 4.4, Westmoreland, California, 3.1, and the crown of Lemuria, Fox Islands, Aleutian Islands, 3.7, 37 into 73. Another activation in Westmoreland, California, Southern California, 3.2 on the Ring of Fire. Japan, 4.2, Dominican Republic, 3.3, Virgin Islands, 3.9, Jiangyao, China, 4.3, Sutton, Alpine, Alaska, 3.5, Guatemala, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, also 4.2, Indonesia, 4.5, Guatemala, again, 4.0, and then the powerful one in Somalia, 5.5, 10 kilometers depth, Cobb, California, 3.5. All portals activated, open, waiting for our next command. And now my sacred condor, pull a card for you from the tarot deck, Shadowscapes, from Stephanie Poimoon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today is Five of Swords. The night fades, the rising sun pierces the sky with the blood-tinged rays of dawn, and the air is shattered by the resounding cry of the battle horn. The dark angel draws his blade to join the fray, He is accompanied by black swans. They have been steeped in the battles of self-interest and power, and they no longer gleam with the pure white of most of their brethren. Their feathers shine with the ebony luster of black pearls, a dark kind of beauty. They send raucous challenges to the heavens, relishing the oncoming conflict. Like an arrow, he spares through the air, single-minded in his purpose. He has sacrificed his integrity to achieve his own ends, and he is focused upon himself, upon survival. But with any conflict, there are the victorious and the defeated. One cannot exist without the other. Who is the dark angel? Is he the triumphant victor, or is he the defeated one, fleeing and cast out from his home in the heavens? The twin cross blades on his back are reminiscent of the two of swords, a denial of the possibility of defeat or of the rights and wrongs of the battle that he chooses to engage in. Does the end justify the swath that he leaves in the wake of the passage of his blade? The five of swords is a sign of discord and conflict of interests. The choices arrayed make it easy to profit and look to one's own concerns, for it feels the world is allied against you. Perhaps a wider view of the world might eclipse this feeling. Now today from Divine Brawl Star of the Light, Rick Jewers. The particular activation code for a higher consciousness within the levels of awakened consciousness has been delivered to the surface. This is to assist in directing the focus on creating the new by allowing the present consciousness of individuals to expand out of the looping energetic expenditures. Sensations in the crown area, head area of the individual accompany this upgrade. Love and Light Rick And this is synchronic with what I experienced today with this lightning bolt that shot through the crown and out the left eye. This is the healing path of the red phoenix. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, Light Beings and the Access of Infinite Worlds. Last night appearing beside me suddenly was a different version aspect of myself and other sacred light beings from other worlds and dimensions. All of these beings and the other version of myself coexist in other worlds now. I was shown through the other version of me that this was a memory for her. They showed me how we exist within an infinite super light computer which is a hologram and that this world of earth is the tiniest fraction held in this infinite supercomputer. They showed me many things, and then slowly they started to dissolve. 
particle by particle until they were gone. They then appeared again to show me and tell me that the appearance of them is like watching a movie, that the fundamental particles appear to show up as the form, which really is simulated, meaning we can access the infinite simulations versions of ourselves now. There is no over there or distance, it is all here and coexists. This means with the right frequency we can have the total access, and we do, to all of the infinite worlds and existences. Similar to a bleed-through of adjacent radio frequencies, we can access all channels, all worlds, all dimensions simultaneously, and we are in them all simultaneously. Similarly, if you had many TVs, you could watch many movies all at once. It is all present now and being transmitted throughout the hologram. When we become aware of this being like a movie, we can let go of matter-focused reality and participate and see this for what it really is. A harmonious frequency with concentrated magnetism will reveal all and any aspects simultaneously. I have experienced this and have become dimensionless because I exist consciously throughout them all. The hologram is infinite. There appear to be the villains, the antagonists, and the protagonists in every movie. Same with here. After all, it is a movie. The mind, the consciousness, and the form of particles are all immersed within this living sea, the hologram. The brain carries an imprint of memory. DNA, frequency, and coherency levels act as the key to the bigger infinite system. Just as conversations in a room can be picked up and deciphered later from the wall, so too the brain holds the imprints of the memories. The vast access of all true memory is held in the infinite holographic field. This is why if someone is even brain dead and came back to life, they can remember what took place. They access the greater, vast, perfect memory of the infinite hologram. They and their true mind that exist outside of the body were in full participation there because they are, it is, all present. Accessing this connection and seeing and summoning the bleed-throughs of all worlds, like two or more adjacent radio stations, we enter the harmonious state through the heart and gain the unlimited access, as the key is always present, it is all here now. Letting go of being matter-obsessed and being time-obsessed, we allow the heart to open and all keys be accessed in the here and now. This is the first step, to be in the movie, the game, the hologram, awake and aware, accessing the infinite here. After all, that is what is infinite, and it is endless. Blessing you all now, as another being shows himself from another world, in the now, now in love, from the new divinehumanity.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Merkaba Expansion, the Arcturians. As your evolution and internal knowing continues to expand, to visualize your light body like a unique light ship, as your multidimensional world appears before you, as your light body appears with many new features, we speak today of the Merkaba, an extension of your light body, a tool for multidimensional travel, your own light portal a natural part of your light field. It can change shape and configuration as many come to understand the true essence of their crystalline light field. As the universe is available for intergalactic travel, we ask you to expand your vision to endless light travel opportunities. As your true advancement lies beyond the construct of your physical world, know we see the future evolution of your world, of high light intelligence, a vibrational frequency awakened in you, a beautiful light held within your true essence. As your unique crystalline light signature emanates this light field, for the vibrational vision of your future permeates in your light field, for you hold the light keys of your future world. As you find each other, join and unite, see this vibrational light shining brighter as you all come together. As your world becomes brighter, we see you shining, connecting, uniting. As universal love and unity shines, sending love for your day, light family, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalie Glasson, Sacred School of Om Na, you are the anchor by Grandmother Anna. Greetings, namaste, blessings. I am Grandmother Anna. It is a joy to be in your presence, bringing forth my vibration and truth into your awareness and reality. Have you ever thought that you are a being of expression? You are a being of receiving. You are a being of flow. 
One of your main purposes in existence upon the earth is to be consciously aware of the energy flowing from your being and what you are creating with it. It is to be consciously aware of what you are receiving, what you are bringing and drawing into your body, being, soul, chakras, thoughts, emotions, every aspect of your being and your reality. It is your mission and purpose to be aware of this flow and how you are in the center of this flow. You are the anchor. You are the anchor of the Creator. You are the anchor of this two-way flow. When you are consciously aware of the energy you express and the energy you receive, you begin to dance with the Creator and with your creations as you manifest them from within your being and your reality. I invite you to contemplate what is happening in your reality that maybe is unbalanced, that you are not happy with or are concerned about, you wish to change or shift or alter, when you think of something that could be hindering you or occupying your mind, allow yourself to acknowledge, what am I anchoring in this situation? What energies am I allowing to flow through my being from the Creator or simply from my mind, from my emotions? What energies am I receiving? What energy am I receiving from the Creator, from the outside world, from my situations, experiences? What am I receiving? What am I expressing? Therefore, what am I being? What am I anchoring? As you acknowledge this, you begin to understand how you are being present in the world, how you are being present in your physical body, and how you are being present in your reality. Thus, you can create a shift. You can also ask yourself, what do I wish to anchor instead? What do I need to anchor to make the necessary change, transformation, or shift that I desire? Or what do I need to express from the Creator through my being? What do I need to receive from the outside world and from the Creator? Therefore, what am I being? What am I anchoring? When you allow yourself to recognize what you need to anchor, what you need to be in that moment, in the situation you begin to acknowledge and create and transform, thus creating yourself as an anchor of a new energy, an anchor of a new aspect of your being, thus releasing what is no longer needed. You are being present, grounded, anchored in a new way. You are being present, grounded, and anchored as the Creator. This is something I encourage you to explore in the coming days. It is an amazingly simple process, and yet it can transform your reality and your experiences as well as transforming your embodiment, the way you act and react within your reality and ascension. As you recognize yourself as an anchor in every given moment of your reality and ascension, receiving energy from the Creator, expressing energy from the Creator, I encourage you to contemplate this. Recognize they are all the same. It is the same process, and yet you can feel yourself breathing in, receiving energy from within your being and radiating it outwards, thus expressing and radiating the Creator, receiving divine energy from the universe of the Creator, from your guides and bringing it into your being, into your embodiment, exhaling, beaming out the energy of the Creator, inhaling the energy of the Creator. We can see that it is a flow, it is a process, and although our perspective is slightly different, the process is the same. When we think of expressing the Creator and when we think of receiving the Creator, it is still a good idea to recognize these two aspects because we ground two levels of energy. We bring forth a heightened vibration with each expression and with each receiving. We allow our entire being to receive, express, and to anchor. We involve our wholeness and our completeness in this process, and that is what is needed in this moment. It is essential and important for us to recognize our wholeness and completeness. Therefore, whatever our actions, we are in a space of wholeness and completeness of the Creator. Whatever we may be doing, thinking, or feeling, we are coming from that space of entirety, the ultimate whole and complete vibration of the Creator. This is the essential on the earth at this time. It is important to come to terms with yourself as an anchor, asking yourself in meditation, what does this truly mean for me? What practice, meditation, or thought process will allow me to really embody that I am an anchor of the Creator, an anchor into the earth of the Creator's energy? This is something entirely personal for you to acknowledge, understand, and to explore. What practice, what thought process, what meditation, what technique will allow you to really acknowledge yourself as an anchor of the Creator's energy? It can be something that comes into your awareness. It may be a technique that you are aware of, 
or healing process that you are aware of. It may be something that you are doing for yourself and maybe working or co-creating with another. It could be walking, could be running, could be exercise, whatever it is. It is very important that you recognize this process now and that there is something you can do to really heighten your awareness of yourself as an anchor. There is a need for you to have the perspective in your mind for you to really exist as, embody, and walk the earth as an anchor for the Creator so that everything you do, think, and feel comes from the knowledge and understanding that you are an anchor of the Creator's light. You then approach everything you are and everything you create from this knowledge of being an anchor. You draw into your body more and more light, more and more vibrations and high frequencies. Like a lotus flower in the physical, your physical body, your chakras, your mind, your energy systems, your emotions all begin to open up and you blossom. You become your ascended master self on the earth through this anchoring and grounding process because you are saying not only to yourself, not only to the creator, to the world that you are an anchor of the creator's energy, light, truth, and love. This creates an opportunity for great expansion, a great opening within your being as a physical being upon the earth. Therefore, spiritual energies, your spiritual aspect, your spiritual master self will be able to come forth because you are creating this opening. You are creating a very strong and powerful foundation. You are allowing yourself to open and become your truth. In many ways, we can think of it as there is nothing standing in your way. You are in an anchor. You are bringing these energies into your being, into the earth, into your reality. Everything within your being is opening up. Your intelligence opens up. Your intuition opens up. Every part of your being begins to open, to express, and receive this flow of the Creator, and you anchor further. You become the Creator upon the earth. Not only do you recognize this, you really embody it, and you experience it. I am an anchor. I am a Creator anchor. I invite you to affirm this to yourself in the coming days. I am a creator anchor. I am an anchor of the divine energies and I co-create with the creator in the physical. This means through your physical being, perceptions, expressions, receiving attractions, through co-creation, manifestation, everything that I am and the truth of the creator. Imagine yourself in this way. How will others perceive you now? Not that it matters how others perceive you, but what I am saying is that others will be inspired. You will be a strong foundation of the Creator's light. This will be a magnetic. It will be inspiring. It will encourage others to be the same in your presence. Not that it will awaken anything within them. For that you will influence them. They will be in your presence, experience this flow, that you are in an anchor, that you are so strongly grounded in your spiritual self and in the vibrations of the Creator, that they cannot help but open and become their truth. It is not even about directing your energy, it is just about you being present as an anchor. It will transform so much within your world, within your reality, within Mother Earth and the entire world. It is immensely important in this moment. Recognize yourself now as an anchor and allow yourself to realize that this is your pathway forward. Allow yourself to acknowledge what you become, how you become, and what way do you act and react. Do not try to guess, just allow it to be, and you will see yourself transform. You will see yourself becoming something so amazing beyond your imagination. I trust in you and I am present to support you and assist you in every moment. You are a creator anchor. I love you always. I am Grandmother Anna from omna.org. And today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA, June 13th through June 18th, 2021. Gene Key 12, Vanity, Discrimination, Purity. Vanity and purity are mirrors at the two ends of the spectrum of human consciousness. With vanity, your lower self falls in love with itself, and with purity, the higher self falls in love with itself. You may say that purity is when the divine falls in love with you. This can only happen when you come within the sphere of divine love. Your behaviors, your thoughts, your feelings, the very air you breathe must resonate to one purpose, what the Sufis call falling in love with the Beloved. The beloved is not something out there, it is the essence of your true nature, and you do fall into it because it resides deep within you, from the Gene Keys book. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change from China, Hexagram 12, Stand Still, Heaven and Earth Diverge, 
The dance of yin and yang reveals the illusionary separate self. Purity is the beauty of unity. Discrimination is fresh orientation. Vanity is the entropy of dislocation. Creating receptivity. Heaven and earth are estranged, the image of divorcement. The superior man preserves his virtue by withdrawing from evil and refuses both honor and wealth. With the twelfth CD, we can be locked up in prison. They can do anything to us, but they can never stop our love. When we get in touch and in tune with our heart, then all of our relationships and dilemmas are resolved. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And today, from Here in the Moon Astrology, Week ahead, June 13 through 21, 2021. A heads up, may the force be with you. For the entire week, the chaos node frequencies are very strong. The seismic window of the June 10th solar eclipse is wide open and active through to the June 20th cancer solstice on the sensitive world axis. Mercury is retrograde in Gemini until June 22nd, creating unforeseen entanglements crossed wires and multiple personal tipping points as gas giant Jupiter slows at his most impactful to turn retrograde on Sunday, June 21st. Take in the big picture, instead of just a small me perspective, use helicopter vision. On Monday the 14th, the 2nd of 2021's three Saturn-Uranus-Titanic clashes creates tremendous friction for change at all levels, personally and collectively. In your Aquarius Taurus houses, you are engaged in a massive infrastructure project of mind, body, emotions, and soul, rebuilding your support structures, finances, job, relationships, home, from the ground up to be more resilient and future-proofed, has rarely been so urgent. If you are a fixed sign, Sun and Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or have angles or planets between 7 to 15 of any sign, your leverage and potential is found outside your comfort zone, and it probably won't look feel like anything you were expecting. Clear the river of your own ecology. Your life stream is energy. Monitor where that energy flows. Focus your thoughts, activities, purchases, conversations, relationships on the new rather than the old. Stay responsive and neutral as the internal and external revelations present. Launch practical, workable, doable new visions. Stabilize to become more resilient by recalibrating aspects of your life that are no longer fit for purpose. Pay attention to those creaking floorboards, weak links, and shifting tectonic plates wherever they are in your life. It's time to let them fall apart, break and shatter. Find shortcuts in your evolution by connecting with others in deeper, more purposeful ways. Stay wide open to ways you can make a greater contribution where you are right now. Get ultra clear about what you want and what you don't. From here in the moon, astrology.co.uk. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Leah, White Horse, Lua Astrology. Venus and Cancer, Sextile, Uranus and Taurus, and Quincunx, Saturn, Retrograde and Aquarius. A shiver of excitement calls the heart as Venus reaches out to electric Uranus, planet of liberation and progress. Something different is on the menu and we want to taste it. It's new and interesting and draws us out like the scent of meadow flowers, calling the bees. Fledglings teeter on the edge of the nest, wings stretched, ready to take flight. Excitement stirs, and yet there is also reservation. Should I take the leap? Should I explore this new relationship? Should I take this new job? Should I follow my heart or stay safe in this little world I have created? Sometimes we must carry uncertainty along for the ride. Sometimes we don't know where it will lead. All we know is that we must begin. A little caution isn't a bad thing, but don't let it hold you back from some spontaneous fun. Valuable experiences await when you step outside your comfort zone. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 181 Red Crystal Dragon. Crystal is the name for the number 12 and its keywords are dedicate, cooperate, and universalize. It's day 12 of the White Dog Wave Spell. On Crystal Days, it's good to remember how we need each other and through community, teamwork, and collaboration, we achieve more. Today, we get together with other like-minded folks and see what you can accomplish. Today is Red Dragon, which represents nurturing, being, and birth. This combination of number and day creates the perfect opportunity for starting something new with a group of people, a community project, 
or an assignment at work, whatever you want to do, think about how others can get involved. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Crystal Dragon, Kin 181, 13th of June 2021, Universal Nurturance, 13 6 2021 equal 13 6 5 equal 13 11 equal 4 2 equal 6 13 cosmic consciousness goddess mysteries natural lore 4 form structure foundation earth angelic 5 change freedom transformation liberation 11 gate portal polarity 2 twins partners cooperation 6 heaven christ harmony romance fertility Kin 181 equal 10 equal 1, New Beginnings, Leadership, a very powerful feminine nurturing day of connection to our kin. Today we return to the Red Dragon tribe, which is tribe number 1, and so we commence at the top of a new column, number 10 in the Zolkin calendar, which represents manifestation and new beginnings, which harmonizes with the birthing energies. Day 12 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from Source Love in order to be love. Today we are connecting and cooperating with our communities in a beautiful, nurturing, and loving manner, reprogramming our minds to become compassionate with the new light of unconditional love. Tone of Creation, Crystal, Tone 12 in the Mental Realm, Action universalizes, power dedicates, essence cooperation. The crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind, the mental realm. The other two mental tones are tone 4, self-existing, and tone 8, galactic. Yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing any blocks in order to liberate love and light through the space and freedom engendered by the spectral phase of disillusion and release. New space is created for something new to emerge. At the crystal level of mind, we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds. Just as a crystal can be programmed, so too can we program our minds on this day. Today we are joining and merging with other minds through the power of love and nurturing. We are reprogramming Gaia's crystalline grid to a much higher octave of pure unconditional love. So focus on the crystal clarity of our minds today through the power of cooperation with others. A day of greater connection to each other through our precious hearts and highest collective minds and to Mother Gaia. We are responding to our spontaneous hearts' desires to love and nurture each other and live together harmoniously in community. Trust in the magic of the larger divine pattern to provide what you need to birth your new reality and our beautiful loving new world. The essence of Kin 181 is to reveal and teach us what is not born of love, and thus the way forward is to unite as communities through unconditional love, compassion, and acceptance of each other as equals, all divine children sharing this earthly experience. As a great master once said, a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. John 13, 34. So precious loving hearts, a beautiful day for birthing new loving communities and connecting with our kin through the magic of nurturing each other. Today's question is how can I lovingly connect and nurture others through a higher, more compassionate mind to birth a new world? Divine blessings for a beautiful day of love and nurturance with your kinfolk. And La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 181, Red, Crystal Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I dedicate in order to nurture. Universalizing being, I seal the input of birth. With the crystal tone of cooperation, I am guided by the power of space. And on this powerful day of timelessness, transformation, and resurrection, let us know, beloved beings of light, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. We archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your continued support. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses. So if you'd like to help us continue this work and 
keep bringing these transmissions to the world. You can make a pledge on Patreon at our link at goldwhiteeagle.com or a donation one time at our link to PayPal at Eagle Love Condor. And we appreciate all of those with your continued support. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Gypsy, for the image in the beginning of today's transmission. And now I'd like to also thank all of you supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. She added several new goddess totems today and the medicine wheel goddess totems of the four directions. She also still has the full zodiac goddess set and made to order zodiac goddess totems and other healing jewelry and works of art. Thank you Divine Sister of the Light Jess for your kind review today. You can check out my queen's beautiful works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to finish today's transmissions with powerful codes from our Pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 messages June 13, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition, attention for calls in PVSC-SDE. Galactic forces reverberate. Ashtar, Conct Super 11, active in physical 1, reverberation 12% non-regressive. Finalizations are still in progress. Cellular reconstructions accelerated. Ashtarans reactivating galactic consciousness by waves. Stellar representations are summoned. Terran environment entering photonic totality. Restorers continue to revolutionize. Duality remains exposed for accelerated finalizations. Unnecessary discussions including detuning. Astral mergers continue as realms merge into plus plus plus. Attention to the order of the solar disks. Order of TIY. Special projector support started 98%. Non-regressive. The order of the solar disk. Order of TIY. Special projector reverberation 98%. Non-regressive. The light celebrates. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1 potentiating Lemurian inheritances from DisclosureNews.it. So thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. And again, for our supporters on Patreon, check out the training today on acupuncture, the art of needling. These weekly video trainings come with your monthly membership on Patreon. Or any donations you send in the next week, we will send you a link to this video training today. So I appreciate you, your support, your connection, your light, your beautiful comments, and your kind souls. We, together, are rising into the glory of the dawning of the new golden age of eternal bliss consciousness. Keep anchoring your highest love, your highest light, your highest codes into the grids of Pachamama and deep into the crystalline core of Gaia as we wake up from the matrix of the 3D of suffering into the divine matrix 5D of unity, harmony, love, and peace, abundance for all beings of light. So our beloved beings of pure consciousness, keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and shining your light brightly into the void as we light up every point within this holographic field of infinite multidimensional realities. And always remember, I am the way the truth, and the life. Be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.